Hi YouTube, it's Morgan. Hope you all are feeling blessed. Um, I just want to talk about a few things today that I think are important to address. I'm not sure how much YouTube's gonna like this, but um, leading with that, it may not like it. Um, sorry YouTube, not sorry. Anyway, continuing. Um, I guess like a lot of channels have been demonetized. Um, I'm not <laughs> monetized, which you guys would know. Well, probably a lot of you would know, I mean, because you have to have a thousand subscribers to even be considered an alpha that matters. I'm just going to talk about something that I found interesting. So, um, a news, a news station that's on YouTube, um, they've been covering a lot of news stories and I guess like YouTube has a lot of rules of stuff they don't like to be on YouTube. Like a lot of stuff they don't want you to say on YouTube. <laughs> so a huge channel that has like over 2 million subscribers got demonetized uh, a few days ago, I believe. Maybe it was before that. I don't really know. Cause I don't really know like when their channel got demonetized, but like to continue, I find it very interesting and weird. Um, I hope and pray that they get their channel back. I'm not really sure. I know they cover some things that are like, maybe not, like, I guess frowned upon by YouTube and stuff. Um, like sensitive topics, like they don't cuss or anything, which I also find this interesting, okay? They have YouTube kids and then they have YouTube and then they have you choose whether your content's for adults or for kids. Um, and then they want to like demonetize these news platforms when they're just telling the truth, I guess, because it's obviously coming off to YouTube as a threat or somebody as a threat. So, um, that really sucks. And I'm hoping that these news sources that are just trying to tell the truth or these channels are just trying to tell the truth, get monetized again. Um, especially when the they know stuff that will help us and inform us um, about how to live smart and to do things better. Like, I don't see why it has to be the way it is like that. Um, I forgot what they're called, but um, once I figure that out, I can like put it um, in the comments below. But like also to continue, I find it a little disturbing because YouTube has like a long list, which I'm sure like a lot of people know of stuff that you're not supposed to say on YouTube, which I'll have to go over again. And I might be able to insert it in here. I'm not sure. Or, but they're just like, they don't like you to say a lot of stuff or they'll get upset at you. And even if you're not monetized or being considered for monetization, you still get in trouble. You still get a mark against your video. So I think that's a little something i think it's become a lot worse since um a few years ago so yeah i don't really think that's quite fair i don't really think youtube's giving people a fair chance fair swing at things um and i think it, it's kind of wrong um but to continue on um i do think it's quite cool that a lot of people are standing up for what they believe in and what they think is right considering the times we're in um and I do think it's quite odd about all this coincidence going around about like I don't know like the stuff in Ohio I don't even know how much I could talk about see and I go again um but I also want to talk about something else um this is kind of a completely different topic but you know let it, we're going there um so I've noticed like I, I need I need prayer because I want to pass my GED which um, I struggle with math and I'm doing scientific notation right now. And scientific notation is a little bit hard for me. And that's like um, the end of the book almost. Uh, excuse me, I just, I'm in a parking lot. But anyway, to continue, that's like the end of the book almost and it's getting a little bit frustrating. Um, and I hope, I'm hoping I pass this time because a lot of the jobs that are like higher pay and I'm not trying to just talk about money here. Like, I know that God provides too, but like, it's also good to be smart, right? So to continue, a lot of the jobs that are better are either fast food or you have to have higher education. And 
people who know me know I don't really do the best at fast food. I've tried it before. It doesn't really work out for me. It's too much and they don't want to take the time with you or most fast food places that I've worked at don't. I've never had the experience where people are like, oh yeah, I'll take the time to teach you. No, it's rush, rush, rush. I guess that's why it's called fast food. I don't know. Uh, that's just my experience. Um, but continuing, like a lot of the jobs that I go into, I'm like, yeah, this looks cool. High school pl uh, diploma or equivalent required, which isn't asking like a lot, I know. It's just, um, if you know my life story, which no one really does except for Jesus, even I don't really know my like, well, I know most of it. You know what I mean? I don't know how to explain this. Because, like, I block out things because of trauma. Then, you know, I didn't make it through school because of, like, personal things in my life and anxiety. And I took on too many things at once. But to continue, um, yeah, I'm just praying and hoping that I pass this time so I can just be done and move on to college and having a part-time job. Hopefully, I can juggle two at once because sometimes I have a trouble with that, too. But... Um, college doesn't start till after that here, so that's cool. Um, but anyway, yeah, I'm just, I'm looking forward to taking the GED test, but I'm also, like, really nervous, and I think that's been playing on my emotions a lot lately, and not been really that fun. Um, also struggling with my faith a little bit, but, you know, I get through it because I remember that, you know, Jesus exists, and the spiritual world exists, that means that, you know, he heaven and hell and bad and good exist, then I can always remember that. And even when my brain, I, I call it like this spiritual fogginess when my brain starts to like doubt. But anyway, yeah, those are my thoughts for today. Um, if you like this video, please do give it a big thumbs up down below because it really does help to get like it spread to more people and comment if you would like um, on your thoughts and subscribe if you would like. Cause you know, I do try to post a lot and I know that this is probably not everybody's cup of tea, that's fine. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys have a great day and God bless you. And I'll say a little prayer with you real quick. Um, Jesus, I just pray that you help us to continue to be strong with you and peaceful and help the leaders of this country to make right decisions because it's been hard and help us to, I don't know, fight the good fight till the end. Amen. <laughs> okay. God bless you guys. I'll see you in the next YouTube video and I hope you're having a good day. All right. Bye.